Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's TV show review. Today we're going to be reviewing a TV show from the BBC called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a five-part book series called a trilogy. Of course it's also a comedy which was then adapted to a radio show and then that radio show was adapted to a TV series and that TV series was later adapted to a movie. So it's had several iterations throughout its lifespan. But The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy at heart is a comedy. And if you enjoy comedy, you will probably enjoy The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What is it about? That is a good question. The name is about an encyclopedia written by galactic species and, let's say, collaboration with one another to put together the knowledge of the universe for other species to learn from. The interesting book, of course, has the beautiful pink letters on the front of the cover that say, don't panic, or that is quite apt for the guide. As far as what the show is about, it is essentially the story of a human and his adventures through the universe. And the Earth, and what the Earth is in this universe, and what happens to the Earth in this universe, to a point. The TV show, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, does not cover all of the books, but it does cover some of the material within them. Basically, we have a man who is going to have his house knocked down for a bypass, and the earth that gets destroyed for a bypass, and his best friend happened to be a interstellar being from another planet that got trapped here on the planet Earth. They catch a ride from a hostile alien species, get thrown off that ship, and collected by another ship, which was stolen by, let's just call him his half-brother. And they meet some interesting robotics. end up finding a lost world that used to create worlds and learn that the Earth itself was a biological machine designed to properly convey the question of life, the universe, and everything. For which Deep Thought, a, another machine, was asked to calculate the answer to. And of course, the answer to life, the universe, and everything is 42. And I know, I know, you're wondering, well, how could that be such a simple answer, you say? Well, it's because you do not properly understand the question. Should you actually truly understand the question to life, the universe, and everything, you would absolutely understand the answer, for which is 42. This is a comedy, people. It's a pretty cool comedy. Moving on, they end up at the end of the universe, watching the destruction of the universe itself. Decide to hijack a vessel from the restaurant at the end of the universe 
and by, let's just say, dumb luck, they end up on the one vessel that is pre-programmed to fly itself into a star. Of course, for a concert, you know, the best concerts always cause a solar system to be destroyed, obviously. They escape from this vessel by sacrificing one of those interesting robots and find themselves, well, on a ship that is set to crash land on a planet, because of course it is. And upon crash landing on this planet and doing some investigation, they realize that the biological system, that being the Earth, which was designed and built to properly convey the question of life, the universe, and everything, was infected by another species, which of course crash-landed on the Earth. And that's basically where this story, as far as the TV show, ends. Very interesting. I find this story to be quite hilarious. There are many parts of it that are Let's say they're they're kind of like an academic comedy. Um, it, it's hard to explain. You'd really have to watch the show in that respect. But I did find the show to be one of the more intelligent comedies out there. Um, there is a lot of comedy, shall we call it, that I can't stand. Truly. Um, Dumb and Dumber would be a good example of that. Um, I tried to watch that show. I can't get through it. it. It's just too much for me to handle. But I find that well-written, well-thought-out comedy, I find not only to be hilarious, but engaging, because it makes me ask questions. And I do love me a good show that makes me ask questions. And this particular one will have you asking yourself a lot of questions. One of the uh, more interesting aspects of it, shall we say. It is also, of course, a science fiction setting. And I do like myself some good science fiction. So, regardless of it being a comedy, um, the fact that it's set in a scientific setting just in that alone gives it a plus to me. Now, of course, there are hmm, shall we say some heretical parts to this. <coughs> Excuse me. Where they will, uh, through intellect, make claims that are obviously absurd, but nonetheless funny to hear. There are several parts of this that, um, if you're not paying attention, you will have no idea what's going on, or even why. I have read the books. They are hilarious. Um, and they have you asking even more questions. Because like I said, this show doesn't cover all of the books. 
Regardless, though, the show covers enough of the books to give you an idea of how the books are written and the type of comedy that you will find within them. So, my review of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is that it is a intellectual, hilarious comedy that will have you asking yourself many questions along the way. That's my rant for the day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours.